Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight and today we're at Lefkara. We're going to have a look around. It's famous for its needlework. Right guys, so we're in the famous Lefkara. This is for lace, handiwork. Hello. Nice tablecloths. We're at the start of Lufkara, is that right? Yes, of course. And where the majority of the people park. <laughs> okay. And on top of this lovely shop, we've got Cardiff. Exactly. So why have we got Cardiff on top of your shop, sir? Because my dad used to export uh, Lefkara lace in the UK by recommendation. So three and a half months of the six months from 1970 up to 1990 used to spend it in Cardiff. So for the sake of it, we named the place Cardiff. And also my dad used to cover uh, uh, also Hamster Heath and New Barnet, a uh, few customers in uh, in um, in London site uh, uh, and then uh, South Wales, Mid Wales, of course. Then Yorkshire, Teesside, Northumberland, Midlands, Sheffield, Leeds, Newcastle upon Tyne up to Edinburgh. And officially, my dad was the last of the lace merchants. Oh, wow. And he used to sell to shops over there, did he? No, to individual houses. Oh, for recommendation. For a recommendation, was... guys. So there must be good his stuff. Now, <laughs> what we got here? And we specialized on silver as well in Lefkara, oh, especially the Philippine work. This is lovely, isn't it? The Lefkara lace work though, the embroidery is I mean, and goes here. Yeah. Okay, we'll go and have a look, shall we? Here we are. So the, the raw materials are um, Irish linen and DMC thread for Dombele from France. Uh, they have been patented by UNESCO as our own patent. We have six traditional designs. We have the star, the Xoluri, the Venechanic, the Finigodo. Finigodo, yes. Or reversible, some people they call it, because oh, uh, wow. all of them are reversible, actually. That is beautiful work, that's, isn't it? Exactly. That's the Garuli design, uh, been imprinted into the pound note before euros. Amazing. And that's all hand done, guys. Exactly. And this is the Leonardo da Vinci design. So these are original hand done stuff. No machines. You can tell right at the edge. Really lovely. No, no those are by hand. The machine yes, made. Yes, uh, by hand. Yeah, the machine made uh, this stuff. Okay, so it does have some machine yeah. made stuff. Excellent design, machine made. And there you, you are. If you play, uh, just wait a minute. Just yeah. place it next to it. Oh, the other. then you can tell. It's the same size. Oh, there you go, guys. But it's only the tenth, the ten percent of the price. That's uh, right. Cotton uh, lino. That's right. Uh, but well worth it. Yes, of course. Because it's but, all uh, handmade. We start. We are from a family that we've been the first to export left mm -hmm. abroad. And do you do through? Can you buy through the internet through you? Uh, I'm working on it actually. I didn't uh -huh. set all the. Uh, he hasn't an set on it. Okay. But uh, through WhatsApp, Viber, through email, through um, um, uh, Facebook page of the store, I mean, people they can contact us. Oh, great. And, uh, so let's have a look at your card yes. and see where they can contact you. Yes, of course. You can buy your handmade lace, guys. If you're in England, stuck. You can contact him through his Facebook. Yeah. Louis is my father's name. My name is written on the email, actually. There you go, guys. And the branches in the UK that my dad used to export left Karales with a Facebook page of the store underneath. Perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Right, let's go and have a look around. See what there is. So what we do, we'll go down this main road here 
back to the car and then go down to the lower part of the village. Today's Saturday and it looks like we've got a Harley Davidson enthusiasts in town. There we are, there's a nice one there, all nice and shiny. And we'll go and have a look at these others. Here we are. Here we are, looks very comfy. This one looks like it's got a sat nav in it. And there's another one here. This one also looks like it's got a sat nav, comfortable seats at the back. Well, oh, there you are. Okay, you can see the tablecloths crocheting. Some of this stuff is handmade, and some of it is machine made. Lovely cobbled street there. And this village is also famous for its silver. Lace and silver. Lovely old balcony up there. Oh. In need of some repair, I think. So there's a lace tablecloths and napkins and what have you that's a crochet so there's a picture up here showing how they used to do it years ago in the village see all sit around doing the tablecloths There's the silversmiths. There. And this is his shop where he sells the stuff he's made. You see? There's the lady doing it outside of her shop. And there's another lady doing it outside her shop. Look at that. That antique jewellery lot. Right. Nice and overcast. Hi right, guys, back round the corner to see our guys with really the Harley Davidsons. Isn't that lovely? How long did it take you to polish that, sir? <laughs> Hi guys! It's lifetime's work. It's a lifetime's work. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Which one's yours? Sorry? Which one's yours? Okay. This one. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? How long did it take you to polish that? I don't know. Several hours. <laughs> seven or eight hours, guys. So he's polished this Harley Davidson for seven or eight hours. And doesn't that look <laughs> impressive? No. And is that a sat nav there? Yes. Oh wow. So he's got a sat nav, speakers, everything. Oh, 
these old traditional houses that have been revamped, restored back to their original state. And here, there's a pile of old doors and windows that have come out of one of these restored old houses. We are at the lower village, aren't we? Just at the lower village. We can have a short walk round here. Mm, nice, isn't it? Cobble paving. Right. I think left. And the right. Oh, look. Oh, portable, look. Oh, potable, that means drinkable. There we go, let's put it on. Oh, holy. Switch off. Nice plants. It's nice and quiet this time of the year, isn't it? Just come across an old white winery, guys. Got an old winery. See? Stick the grapes in now. Comes out of there. I'll stick them in this press. And then all the juice comes out of there. One minute. There it is. See? Wine press, or grape press, should I say, and another version there. But this bit is not portable, see, this bit is not drinkable. Look, it's a trough on the side of a house. I think that says 1920. Right, let's go around here. Old stone houses, look. Look at that one. Right, let's look at this one that hasn't been restored. Look. Here we are. Look. Look, and there's the old fireplace. Hey, look. Should we go in? Coming, sir? Oh, she's not got appropriate shoes. Oh, look. There's the old oven. Look, the old original door, and that must have been the second floor. This bit's collapsed. 
Right, let's go inside, eh? Have a look. Oh, it's pretty dark. There's some old... Some old baskets here. Look, old baskets. And there's the old traditional ceiling or roof. Beams were like that and then they got sticks and then mud on top, you see. Okay. That's what we call, used to call the lava and plaster there. White plaster, that's an old basket, look at that, dusty old thing. Right, what we'll go in here then? Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, hold the camera steady. What about that? Probably 100 years old. Something like that. Oh, let's get out of here. Look at the size of that lock. Or the missing lock. Right. Okay. We'll have a look round. Here we are. If anyone fancies a project, not a bad idea. This part here, I think, is another oven. Is it? No, it's another room. That's another room. And this part here. Now, I think this is the oven. Let's have a look. Yeah. There you go, or part of the oven in this room. You see, there, and then you can see that the beams are black from the oven. Yep. But on this side, they're a little bit cleaner is there away from the oven and this part might have been a courtyard because they used to have courtyards used to be surrounded like that see by the house and then in the middle here would be a courtyard balcony up there with steps going up to it, you see. Right, and here's one that's been restored, you see. There you go. There's another one over here that's been restored. It's got a newish balcony, look. Yep, garage come across the church. Looks like it's all locked up. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. An old church. Surrounded by some more old houses. Well, let's go and have a look at another old house waiting to be restored. Here we are, just near the church. So there's the church and the courtyard. And next to it is this old stone house. Now I think part of the walls have been restored. Um, yeah, possibly. It looks fairly new, that wall. 
and the doorway is original. Let's go inside and have a look. Yep, all needs redoing inside. There we are, still got the old roof. You can see the tiles. So some old beams, some bamboo and then tiles on top of that. Okay, carpet, probably handmade. And a little door. Oh, that's tiny that door, I'm gonna go through it in a minute. Leading to the next room. So we're coming into the next room. Yep. Right, we've got an old cabinet here. Look at that. Right. This place has seen better days. And the bamboo roof's fallen out. Just see the tiles now. See the old plaster there. And unfortunately, we've got a hole. Okay. Looks like it might have running water. Let's try it. Nope. No water. Okay, right, I'll show you the little door, there we go, that's the little door to the other side. Right, we'll go through these two double doors, now, I don't know if you can remember in one of the videos I talked about Getting into the churches, the very old churches, they've got a lock outside. So, and this is the lock. Okay, this one's got the lock. Okay, it's like a secret lock. Right, so the door shuts. Not very well, well it doesn't shut, but anyway, the door shuts. Yeah, let me come back a piece. So the door shuts here and clicks into that little groove. And then what you do, you go to the top here and there'll be a hole just here, under there, where you press the little piece of wood and it'll go up and let you in. Normally it's a little hole there, but this one's got a gap. Okay. Right. right, let's go in the old church if it's open. Mm, look at that. Yeah, I don't think it's open. Now, this one's got a big lock. That's massive. Try it. No. no, that's locked. Yep. Nope. It's all locked. Right, I'm going to see if we can get to the car this way. So there's quite a lot of houses that have been restored here. There's an old traditional display cabinet. No. Covered in oil. Varnished no, it's got woodworm. And it's got the old traditional embroidered you call that cloths I suppose or tablecloths that's a restored house lot it's nice isn't it right back 
cup. Right, this is the restoration project that was we went in. There it is quite big. Oh, it's only half of it, guys. Look, half of it's been restored, so it's actually like a semi detached. So that's the top, that's that room I went in with the baskets, and that's the courtyard. And the other side of it. It's still big though. And then this is next door that's been restored. Look. You see? And they've got an identical thing. Here it is. So that will be the entrance to the courtyard. This piece here. That was the balcony we saw with those steps going up to it. And the room at the top and that was the downstairs room with the baskets so if you look down here guys you can see that we've got the restored one let me go back a bit so you've got the restored one on this side on the right and the one that's waiting to be restored on the left here's the end of the restored one there you see Great project, I think.